Hello and welcome back to Daily Direction Part 5 where we're going to be looking at this really funky close button. So jumping straight into Webflow, let's put our first div down. We're going to call this close parent. We're going to give it a width of 45 pixels. We're going to give it, uh, we're going to leave the height for the moment. We're going to put it on flex. We're going to change the direction to vertical and then we're also going to put it inside of the center. We want to make sure that this is on relative. Then what we're going to do is we're going to drop another div inside of the close parent. We're going to call this dot one. We're going to give it a width of eight pixels, a height of eight pixels. We're also going to give it a background color of black. And then we're going to put up the border radius and we are going to just put some margin on the bottom as well. Then what we need to do is just Apple C, Apple V, Apple C, Apple V. So we have our three dots in already and we're ready to start moving into the animations. So moving in, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a click animation. So mouse click. And let's just go here. We're going to call this 0, 05 close ETN. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the dot one. We're going to do a move. We're going to set it on zero pixels to start with. Make sure this is on the initial state. It's initial state. And then we're going to do a move down. And we're going to go, oh, there's one thing we forgot. Make sure we select selected element. It's really important that sometimes I forget to do it. This is how these things go. And let's just move this dot down until it lines up with the other one. So that looks in line, which is great. Then what we're going to do is going to select the bottom dot. We're going to do a move. Make sure we remember to put it on selected element. We're going to go move again. And we're going to move this one up. I think it was 14, if I remember rightly. So we've got that right. We need to also make sure that we put that on zero. And that's quite good that it lets you know that you haven't marked out um, a state on this when you actually don't leave any parameters in here. So it always comes up with that little warning sign. So if you see that, that means something's not been put in correct or it's not the same um, value. So now we have that. What we can do is we need to grab the middle dot and we're going to do an opacity on this. Again, just make sure that it's on selected element. Opacity and on get rid. So we need to select these. We're going to really make this quite quick. We're going to do a 0.2. Let's just have a look. That's great. So now we've done the, the move. What we need to do is we need to select the top dot. We're going to come off of this part of the animation and start a new part. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a rotate and we're going to go one, we're going to go to 45. And then we're going to select the bottom dot. We're going to do a Rotate again. We're going to go minus 45. We're going to select both of these. We're going to give them an ease. Put them on 02. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a size on this now. So what we need to do is we need to do a size. We're just going to increase the width to 45 pixels. And then what we're going to do is just delay this. We just need to delay this down to 0.2. And then we're going to change this to out elastic. And we're going to slow it right down to 0.7. We're going to select the other dot. So that's that one. That is that one. We're going to select the other dot. Do exactly the same again. 
45. I'm going to do out elastic 0 0.7, and that should be that. And there you go. So we've got that straight away. We're in, we're already good. Just need to do the, the second click. So go to the bottom. We need to duplicate this, select it. Um, we need to get rid of all of these. Oh no, we don't. We need to keep these. So actually, so this is where we need to just work out the logic of this reverse flip side. So what we need to do is the first thing that we need to do is this size. So we can actually keep this. So let's just take all of these off for a second. So the first thing that we need to do is the size. So we grab the size and drop it up to the start. Let's put it on zero. So that is the first thing that's going to happen. It's going to close back in. Then we're going to do a rotate. Let's just bring these back. We do a rotate. And then we have our final bit, so we can get rid of these. That was our starting bit. And we've got a move, opacity, a move. So we just need to make sure that these, because these were our initial state ones, we need to make sure that these are on an ease. And we need to then just put them back to where they was. So let's just check that, it might be wrong. Oh, see, there you go. So we've got some issues there. So we've got a size. Right, okay, there you go. So the size obviously needs to go back to zero. This needs to go back to zero. The rotate needs to go back to zero. And then the other one needs to go back to zero as well. And let's just check. Oh, that looked dodge. What happened there? Let's have another little look. That's right, okay. That doesn't need to go back to zero. What that needs to go back to is eight. Eight pixels for both. Let's just try that again. Great. Now these should be in time with this. And let's just put a 0 0.2 on it. Let's just have another look. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the original one. I'm just going to have a look here on the size. Let's just make sure that we put in the height as well on this. To make sure that this is consistent. So what we also need to do as well with that our animation, let's just have a look at the move. Uh, or is it the size? Yes, that was it. So the size, what we need to do with the size is just drop it to an ease and actually just bring the speed back quicker. We want to change that animation. It doesn't need to be like that on the way back. There you go. So there it is. That is how you create this really funky little close button. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.